Well, look at all this mess. I mean, just look at it all, bits and pieces all over the place. Now, I'm shooting the start of this at the end. Um, so you can see what it's all about. You have to get permission, of course, from the other half to be able to do this. Don't do it in the lounge. So, makes a lot of mess. Now, we're going to start high-speed photography with normal flashes and normal camera settings. And I'll show you how to do that. We're then going to move on to high-speed flashes and high-speed camera. And then we're going to finish with high-speed camera, high-speed flash and triggers. And what I mean by triggers is a trigger that will go off when I, when I drop the glass, which is the whole idea of it. Anyway, um, let's get on. A lot of people like to see the camera settings, so here they are. So you can do a stop image if you really want to read it all. Right, well here's our set. Um, all protected with plastic. Got our glass ready to drop. One flash there, one flash behind. Don't forget the one behind. And a reflector here. All ready to go. You've seen the settings. So we're going to pick it up, we're going to drop it and fire it by hand. We're not using any triggers with this one. We'll get on with that in a second. We'll get on to the high speed flash and the triggers, but this is what it's like at a 250th of a second synchronization speed. And then we can see exactly what that gives. We'll compare it with high speed later on. As I said, I'll be dropping this by hand and firing by hand. So I've got my arms a long way apart because I'm not using the remote, lazy, and we shoot. And I wonder what we got there. <laughs> Let's have a look. Now while I find that really quite nice, if we go in closer, we can start to see the problem. We can start to see that the edge isn't quite sharp, etc, etc, etc. Now, I don't mind it like that, to be quite honest. But let's try now and get it in real high speed. Now, all that, of course, was syncing the flash with the camera um, synchronization at 250th of a second. It gives a little bit of movement. But now, with the high speed, we can synchronize at 8 thousandths of a second. Now, while not all cameras, not all DSLRs will allow you to do this, and certainly not all flashes will allow you to do this, What um, we have to do to set it is this, and I'll show you on the camera first. Now setting the camera is very simple. It's just a matter of pressing the menu. We find the, uh, the flash control, well it's already on it, there it is. Uh, this is on the 7D. So we're going to this, then we go, we're in now the flash control. We go down to external flash setting. We go there. Now you see it's set already on ETL2, which is what I'm using. We go down to first curtain, select first curtain, down to high speed. It's as simple as that. And now on the flash. Now if we toggle with this button, that brings up that little flash symbol and the H next to the ETTL. Now, that's as easy, it's as easy as that on the 580. On my other flash, it's a different button than I imagine that on the Nikon flash is, and you know, um, is yet another. With the high-speed flash, you will lose light. Um, you're working, working at eight thousandths of a second. The flash scans the image. In fact, it goes in enormously fast. And you'll lose maybe three, four stops of light. So bear that in mind. So here we go again. Now, I've got to be a bit more accurate this time because I've had to change the f-stop, as I've explained. And missed that one. Uh, it's not as easy as you think. I had a bit of luck with the first one. How about that? Well, that's a bit more interesting. 
Let's try one more. Now, if that was right, ah, oh, that looked really good. And I shot a bit early. This. I'll try one more. <laughs> it's always like that. I'll just try one more before I put the automatic trigger on. <laughs> Didn't make it. I'm running out of glasses. I've got more glasses and food colour. So now we'll be turning to a trigger. Now this is a trigger I use, it's called the Versa Trigger, it comes from England. It fires directly onto the Canon or Nikon or other makes I presume. It has two outputs, it has a microphone input and an auxiliary input, auxiliary input. Um, this is the mic that comes with it. I use a different mic, it's an accessory which is very 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 sensitive it will in fact pick up the slightest noise the problem is when you're walking around the studio it can be a problem um, so that's it it's got a delay so you can set switches on and you can set the delay for the flash to go off later um, the gain is the again making the microphone more and more sensitive you see I'm virtually doing nothing and you can see it go off so very, very sensitive, fantastic. So that's the trigger I use. Now you can, there are other uses for it, and I'll show you those in another film. Well, I think it's time to have a go at this. Um, I've marked the spot, and we'll just see, as you see, I've changed the liquid to blue. It's in one of my fingers. Um, I think it's a question of dropping it straight. Now, you see the advantage of using a trigger? <laughs> that really was the first one. Now what changes have I made? Well, you can see quite obviously I've put a white background down. Um, I'm beginning to, these pictures were just for a lesson, but I'm beginning to think we might get something nice, nice enough to put into a library. Um, so let's, let's have a think what else I've done. I've raised the light at the back. You can't see it from the camera, but you can see it from this video camera. Just to give a nice hi highlight. Um, and that's about it. I've drawn the camera, but well, I've zoomed out a fraction um, so I can get it all in the image. So let's try another shot. So we'll give it a drop there. I think we'll refill it and go immediately. I've just got covered in blue water. <laughs> go for another one. Oops. Sound trigger goes off and I move my feet. That might be a nice one. Just might be a nice one. Oh. Now that is a nice one. So I'll carry on. I think that was good. I think that was good. Oh, let's have a look at that. Well, I carried on for another whoa, 15, 20 minutes. And here is just a little selection of the stuff we've got. I tried it with transparent water red water as you saw and blue water now this has got the base retouched this is quite nice that's why i love that with the little spikes coming out it's quite an interesting one and you get a lot of different pictures look at that now it really is fun, it's worth trying. I hope you've learned something that will tempt you. Don't forget, you don't absolutely need the high power flash uh, or the super fast flash or the super fast camera. Try it without that. You saw it at the beginning, it works very well. So, I'm, I'm gonna get on making another film on high speed. Don't forget to subscribe down there. 
and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.